What is up guys? It is Nick and we are back to break down my week two NFL lineups. I apologize for no videos last week. I had a bunch of things come up. Uh, I had a family issue come up um, and I had um, a weird work schedule. They kept calling me into work and now that I'm an office administrator where I work, I kind of have to go in most of the times when they call me. So I had to go into work a couple of days that I didn't think I'd have to go in. And then I had a party on Saturday that I knew I was going to have that I just had to go to. Um, I wasn't going to skip the party. So there was just no time for me to record. But this week, already today, I'm going to record this. And then right after, I'm going to record my first look. And then uh, we'll be having videos all week. But let's hop into this. We have our DraftKings main slate lineup here. This is what I ended up going with. Um, not my best work. Um, had some good pieces. Had some really bad pieces. Uh, it just was. It was an okay day. Um, I cashed all my cash games. Failed to cash most of the GPPs I was entered into, which made it. A slightly profitable day because I play the $333 I play multiples of the $100 single entry um, I play like a $50 GPP and some other stuff it, it ends up if I don't hit a GPP or at least don't hit the 333 it kind of gets a little a little dicey on how much profit I make for the week um, my Thursday through Monday which I should cash um is mostly cash games so i'll double up there um believe that posted like 150 i, I made a swap of Mahomes for matt ryan and david and joku for cook so it was about a seven point swing or something like that um starting off at quarterback i played matt ryan i thought he had good game script with no Devonte freeman which ended up being the case um i wish he could have thrown for those 28 more yards he had a couple of chances to get those 28 yards he just didn't end up with them um, would have been a little bit extra points uh, brought him a little bit closer to Mahomes um, he did have the two rushing touchdowns he had the quarterback sneak which DraftKings and FanDuel both messed up for about 15 minutes DraftKings gave it to Ishmael Smith and FanDuel gave it to Tevin Coleman um but they fixed it, and then he had that rushing touchdown from um, about 8 or 9 yards out, uh, which was really helpful because it ended up being 12 points instead of the 80 he would have gotten if they would have been passing touchdowns. Obviously, Mahomes was the play at quarterback, put up like 42 DK points or almost 42 DK points. Uh, at halfback, had Tevin Coleman, Christian McCaffrey, and James Conner. Um, pretty chalky except for uh, Christian McCaffrey. I believe McCaffrey and Melvin Gordon kind of split the chalk. Uh, that wasn't Tevin Coleman and James Conner. Conner pretty much disappointed because the Steelers were awful, and so they disappointed. Coleman really disappointed uh, in the fact that he didn't get as many touches as I would have thought. He had four catches, which was nice uh, for 18 yards, uh, but he had his 107 yards on like 10 carries or 11 carries or something like that. He didn't have that many carries, which is a little concerning for next week. I think I'll go back to the well next week because it's against New Orleans. We'll talk about that in the later video. I think I'll end up going back to the well, but that is an area of concern um, that he didn't get as many touches. I would have expected him to be in the mid-20s. or Low 20s, not mid-20s. Low 20s, but he was around the mid-teens, upper teens. Uh, so that, that, that's a little bit concerning, uh, but we'll have to take a look at that again next week. Christian McCaffrey... Pretty disappointing from the rushing standpoint, but he was able to get 14 receptions, and he came up really clutch on the final drive, getting two grabs for like 20 yards, which got him the 100-yard bonus. Put up a really nice game to match Melvin Gordon, which really saved my weekend. If I if Christian McCaffrey wouldn't have done well, it would have. I probably would have taken a huge loss in this. I mean, I've been in 70 and 125 places were paid, uh, but I only beat the cash line by about eight points. Um, my wide receivers were extremely disappointing. Antonio Brown saw a bunch of targets, uh, but all of his targets were short. Juju Smith-Schuster got all the deep targets. I really had a lineup that was a very, very, very good um, at the beginning of the week. It was Matt Ryan, um, Melvin Gordon, Christian McCaffrey, James Conner, Juju Smith-Schuster, 
It had Jarvis Landry, who kind of sucked, but it, it had Jarvis Landry, and then I forget who it had here. Um, I forget who my other wide receiver was, but it, he crushed. I, I forget. Oh, it was Quincy Anunua. He didn't crush, but he got like 17 points. Um, that lineup earlier in the week would have absolutely destroyed, but we had news change. Things change. We cash. That's all that really matters. But point being, my, my wide receiver is pretty much disappointed. Dante Pettis got his one catch for 35 yards on the very first drive of the game and then didn't see another target the rest of the game. Jared Cook had all of his points in the first half. Don't even believe he saw a target in the second half. Connor, like I said, kind of disappointing. And then the Vikings D... Um, I didn't think they'd give up that many points. I thought they'd lose like a 17 to 14 type of game. Um, but they gave up a lot of points, which ended up really hurting. Gave you negative one points. They did get the sacks on Rodgers, but the points were kind of weak. So moving on to FanDuel. I don't play as much on a FanDuel as I do on the other, on DraftKings. Uh, but I played two GPPs, the Millie Maker and the $44 tournament. I cashed both. Uh, with this lineup. So I had Big Ben, who was a really nice value on FanDuel at 7600 um, compared to his price on DraftKings, and he put up almost 39 points. Played James Conner and Tevin Coleman. They were kind of iffy. Antonio Brown, Julio Jones, Quincy Inunua I got in over here. He was really cheap at 5 k Jared Cook, Melvin Gordon, and the Washington Redskins defense. Melvin Gordon was really key over here because he scored the touchdowns. Receptions aren't as big, so I don't think Christian McCaffrey would have come anywhere near him. Um, pretty disappointing day on FanDuel. I was really stunned to cash these two GPPs. Um, it would have cashed all cash games here, uh, but uh, we finished like close to right on the line here. 141.78 was the cash line. Finished exactly one point over the cash line. Top line was this one. Had Blake Bortles at quarterback. It was Coleman, Gordon, Michael Thomas, Keelan Cole, Dante Moncrief, Kelsey Gurley, and the Rams defense. Not that crazy of a lineup. He stacked Gurley in the Rams defense. Had the one-off Kelsey. Um, had the the Jaguar stack of Keelan Cole, Bortles, and Moncrief. Played the chalky running backs of Coleman and Gordon. I'm sure they were more chalky in cash games. I I'm not entirely sure because I didn't play cash over here. Um, but I know the 142.78 would have cashed in cash games. Um, and then played Michael Thomas, which is always a good one-off. Michael Thomas, for me, is always more of a DraftKings play, but he did catch two touchdowns today, making him optimal in the $44. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this week's recap of my lineups. Um, it was an all right week, uh, but we move on to next week. I'm really starting to like what I'm seeing next week, so we will break that down here. Uh, that video will be up later today, as well as a gaming video. I'm going to start uh, some gaming videos again. Uh, not sure about Madden or anything like that, but those will always, the gaming videos will always go up 8 o'clock um, every night, 8 o'clock Eastern. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop the video like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you all in the next uh, DFS video. Peace out.